you got to give out your all your credibility, right? Now they know the price, they know the process, they know who you are, you got them comfortable. Now it's why you, hey, I got a business degree, I got a law degree. Um, I sold a million dollars worth of product on Amazon. I sold 10,000 products a month on Amazon. Whatever your key highlights are, this is where you're going to get um, vocal about why you're awesome, right? This is why you're awesome, why you. Now, interesting about the minimums, right? When you're selling yourself, there's two kinds of, of, of sales. There's two kinds of competition, right? Some people price compete. And some people quality compete. And I want to make this distinction because I think a lot of people, what happens is they almost only think they can compete on price yeah. when they don't understand that they can compete on differentiation or some other kind of competitive advantage that you know allows them to enter a marketplace in a, in a different price point that otherwise wouldn't be acceptable if you were only price competing. And the example I love to give is a Starbucks, right? Here's a business model that, most people threw out of the room in, in the venture capital world because you're like a $4 cup of coffee. What are you talking about? Every corner store sells them for 99 cents, right? Mm -hmm. And now you walk into a Starbucks and you're like, I would never go into a deli to get a crappy cup of coffee. They have Wi-Fi here. It's nice. It smells good. The bathroom's always clean, right? So that, I, that's a. Uh, I would never get my coffee at a convenience store, but I also wouldn't buy it from Starbucks. I, I don't like Starbucks coffee. Oh, hold on. That's Let me my own opinion. Me. Are you a Dunkin' Donuts guy? <laughs> no, no. I usually try to find a local coffee shop. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But but same principle. Same principle, right? The the local coffee cup, same thing, right? That you're gonna pay two three hours. The point is, you don't always have to compete on price right? You don't always have to compete on price. And for example, to Todd, to Todd's point, you don't always have to compete with some kind of brand recognition like a Starbucks, right? The local coffee shop is the YU for Todd in Todd's instance, right? It's yeah. their competitive advantage. It's the fact that they're not Starbucks. It's the fact that they're not the other place. So this all goes into this. And what this is doing at this point, by this point is you're building credibility, right? They were already comfortable with you. You assured them several times throughout this process. I can absolutely help you with that. Hey, that's what I do. Hey, I know exactly what you're talking about. Hey, I read up on you. I understand where you're coming from, right? You've related to this person. And this, this, this fourth step really is the credibility builder. 